we have a MacBook here that came in today and customer requested expedited service. MacBook looks like this and customer did leave a note that the screen is cracked. The back is cracked from here. It's an older ancient laptop, but the customer wants it fixed. Do not argue with the customer. So let's see what the customer wrote. The cooling fan was making noise, so I replaced it from a donor. Tried to power on unit with no available. Need your help to repair the issue. The customer did not only request expedited, but he also requested express shipping and he left us a big note. He wants it fixed. It means something to him and he wants it fixed. So right now we do not know what's causing a no power. Customer said that this happened after he replaced the fan. If we take a look at possibly the fan connector, I mean, it's not rocket science to change a fan. So I just want to look around and see if there are maybe any missing components, anything knocked off, any burn marks, blown components, and the board looks clean. For the age of the laptop, the board looks clean. I do see some corrosion here, but it should not be a big deal. Rest of the board, no issues. I mean, I doubt that changing the fan would cause the computer not to power on. Right now, what if we remove that fan and power the laptop on without a fan? If the problem is in fact the fan, then the laptop should power on if we disconnect the fan. Fan disconnected. We're going to plug it in and see what happens. Charger is plugged in and we do see a green light. We do see a green light here. And if we try to power it on. Nothing. And the board is that cold. Nothing. What if we monitor this board under a thermal cam while the charger is plugged in just to see if there are any heat spots or anything unusual? And I do see a major heat spot on the board. The cable for the camera got damaged. We have one on order. We did get the cable, but it turns out that the RCA to HDMI box was the one that was causing the problem. We have one on order and we should get it in a couple of days. So you're not going to be able to see what I'm seeing, but maybe I can do this. You see, we see a big heat spot right there in this area. So I'm going to pinpoint where that heat spot is coming from with my tweezers and we got this chip here. This is the ISL chip based on what I can tell. This is the ISL chip right there. ISL 6258. Heat is being generated by this chip. A lot of heat. I'm not talking normal heat. A lot of heat. So what do we do? Without wasting any time, let's go ahead and replace that chip and see what happens. I did not take any voltage measurements. I did not do anything else and I do not need to. I see a heat problem on this chip. I see abnormal heat on that chip. I'm going to go ahead and replace it and assume that this chip is what's bad. It's very common for ISL chips to go bad on MacBooks. So it's very likely that this chip is what's causing the problem. The problem may not be that chip. And I get it, but I want to start with this chip. 
just to speed things up. And let's do it. And we have to be efficient in the way we tackle issues and the way we fix devices. We do not want to spend hours and hours trying to troubleshoot and fix one device. I see a problem on this chip, I change that chip. Without having to ask why, how come, what if. Just do it. If it doesn't work out, then we can move on and do something else. If changing that chip does not work, then we can troubleshoot further. Right now, I want to eliminate the fact that it could be this chip. So I don't keep telling myself, what if it was that chip? What if it was that chip? I see abnormal heat on this chip, so we're going to go ahead and replace it. And I want to tin those pads so we can solder the chip. And pin number one is right here. Let's add more flux and go over this one more time. And we should be all good. Very nice. Now I'm gonna press down and apply heat. And the job is done. We're gonna go over the pins from the outside in case we have a bridge. And just like that. And that's it. The job is done. Clean up and we'll test. All right, so let's see.
plug the power, we see a green light. And I did not connect the fan. But look at this. <laughs> it's on. It's on. The customer did not include the hard drive because in the note he said that he had trust issues with other shops. Let me plug the fan and we'll test again. All right, so let's go ahead and test. Power button. And look at this, the fan is spinning. <laughs> the fan is spinning and the computer is on. We're not going to see anything because the customer did not include the hard drive, but the computer is on and it's working. And that's the folder sign right here. So you see how we tackled the issue. We changed the chip without wasting any time. A lot of people, they get carried away doing measurements, measuring voltages, measuring uh, resistance. Why should that chip go bad? What caused that chip to go bad? How come that chip went bad? We do not need to do all of this. I inspected the board under a thermal cam. I saw a lot of heat on that one specific chip and the heat is abnormal. How do we know if heat on that chip, a lot of heat on that chip is normal or abnormal? Comes from experience. We always work on MacBooks. We always monitor the board under a thermal cam. We know, we can tell if such a behavior is normal or abnormal. Now, if it wasn't for the thermal cam, maybe it would have taken us a bit longer to figure this out, but the thermal cam is a priceless tool. Heat spot, change it, done. So we got this in today. It's expedited and we're gonna invoice the customer and mail this back to him as soon as the customer makes a payment. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.